One of the country's most famous landmarks, the Washington Monument, was built in 1848. That same year, Louisa Snowden Caprone built St. Philip's Church right here in Laurel. I think she had a vision. I think she must have realized the need to have a space where people could come and gather and worship. But it truthfully was the mill workers who were living on Main Street and coming and giving a dollar a year when they could. St. Philip's Episcopal Church is celebrating 175 years in the city of Laurel. In honor of this achievement, I met with lifelong member Betsy Welsh to discuss the church's history and some of her favorite memories. My mother joined this church and um, her family was all Methodist, but her girlfriend said, come with me to St. Philip's. And my mother did and my mother loved being here. It has not only um, nurtured me um, in each phase of my life and supported me through some very, very hard times, but it's also challenged me to find how I can be an active part of a, a community and how I can help people as well. Their motto, open hearts, open minds, and open doors, still rings true to this day. St. Phillips was one of the first churches in the area to have a female priest. Little by little, St. Phillips, um, particularly when Sam Wysong arrived, um, opened its doors to all people. And so that was the time when women were first ordained in the Episcopal Church. And we began understanding that women had the role that was equal to men, and could do any of those jobs if we were led or called to do those. Jane Dixon was one of the very first women to be called um, a priest in this diocese. And then she went on to become a bishop in this diocese. Betsy also credits Sam Wysong for leading St. Phillips into a new day and age for Laurel residents as they were one of the first integrated churches in Maryland. You know, we had segregated churches. One of our first parishioners, Dr. Sam Massey, had been hired to work at the Naval Academy as a chemistry professor. And unfortunately, in Annapolis, he could not purchase a home because he was black. And so he came to Montpelier and purchased a home, and he showed up at St. Phillips and we embraced him. There's an elementary school in Prince George's County named for Dr. Sam Massey, and I remember him very well. Today, St. Phillips is still serving the community with their food pantry that was founded by former City of Laurel Mayor, Danny Donahoe, which led to the establishment of Lars. The little chapel used to be a Sunday school space, and now it's a space that has a wonderful food pantry. For St. Phillips to reach 175 years, and for me to be a part of that, to have watched the arc of from when I was a little child, it gives me hope for the future that we will continue on the same trajectory. Congratulations to St. Phillips on reaching 175 years and continuing to make history. Sierra Jackson, Laurel TV.